Hello, welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and in today's episode, we're going to be talking about robots. Artificial intelligence is used in many fields of life, but the knowledge and power of AI is only increasing and increasing. Today, we're going to be talking about how artificial intelligence is affecting the medical field. AI gives computers the ability to learn and apply logic. It pretty much gives computers the ability to think for themselves. First, artificial intelligence is decreasing death rates. With artificial intelligence, doctors and clinics can prioritize people with bigger problems. Also, AI can also recommend individual treatments depending on each person. Plus, artificial intelligence keep searching for new algorithms to analyze and study different diseases as well as their cures. With the help of artificial intelligence, death rates are only declining. Artificial intelligence can also diagnose patients super fast and efficiently. In 2016, IBM's Watson computer diagnosed a weird condition affecting a Japanese patient with leukemia in only a couple minutes. The computer cross-referenced 20 million oncology records to find what was happening with the person. Artificial intelligence is also helping improve the quality of life for older people. With the invention of therapeutic animal robots, elders get to cuddle and care for pets without all the hard work. Artificial intelligence is also reducing the amount of errors in the medical field. The financial cost of human medical errors is over $20 billion. AI doesn't suffer from mood swings and distractions and can outperform humans in terms of speed and accuracy. Lastly, with the invention of virtual presence technology, doctors can use robots to engage with patients and staff without actually having to be there. It's kind of like the holograms in Star Wars. You must see this droid safely delivered to him on Alderaan. This is our most desperate hour. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only help. This invention can allow patients to interact with particular doctors, even if they're thousands of miles away, or light years away, as they say. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and of course, subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, Science can always be fun.